Welcome back to Brainwaves. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of physics, exploring some of the biggest mysteries of our universe. From the strange behavior of subatomic particles to the enigma of dark matter, we're going to dive deep into the unknown and try to shed light on some of the biggest questions in science. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the mysteries of physics. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe. It is called, dark, because it does not interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation, which means it cannot be seen directly with telescopes or detected by any other method used to detect normal matter. The existence of dark matter was first hypothesized in the 1930s by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, when he observed that the visible mass of galaxies was not sufficient to account for the gravitational forces necessary to hold galaxies together. Since then, astronomers have been searching for ways to detect and study dark matter. Despite its elusiveness, scientists have gathered a significant amount of evidence for the existence of dark matter. One of the strongest pieces of evidence is the gravitational lensing effect, where the gravity of a massive object like a galaxy or a cluster of galaxies can bend the light from objects behind it. By studying this effect, astronomers have been able to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Other evidence comes from studies of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. The observed fluctuations in this radiation can only be explained by the presence of dark matter. Finally, simulations of galaxy and galaxy cluster formation also support the existence of dark matter, as they are able to reproduce the large-scale structure of the universe only if dark matter is included as a component. There are several theories on the nature of dark matter, but none have been confirmed yet. The most widely accepted theory is that dark matter is made up of weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, which are particles that don't interact with other particles except through gravity and the weak nuclear force. Some experiments have been carried out to detect WIMPs, but so far none have been successful. Other theories suggest that dark matter may be made up of axions, which are hypothetical particles that were originally proposed to solve another problem in physics. Still other theories propose that dark matter may be the result of the existence of extra dimensions of space. Some physicists have even suggested that dark matter may not be matter at all, but rather a breakdown of gravity on huge scales. Quantum entanglement is a fascinating property of particles that has been the subject of much scientific research and philosophical debate. Simply put, entanglement is a correlation between particles that exist in a quantum state, where the behavior of each particle is interdependent and can't be described independently. When two particles are entangled, Measuring the properties of one particle instantaneously influences the corresponding properties of the other particle, regardless of the distance between them. This might sound like science fiction, but it has been observed in experiments and is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics. One of the most bizarre consequences of quantum entanglement is non-locality, the phenomenon where two entangled particles can influence each other's behavior instantaneously, regardless of how far apart they are. This is in stark contrast to our classical understanding of physics, where objects can only influence each other if they are in each other's vicinity. Non-locality is a testament to the strange and counterintuitive nature of quantum mechanics, and has led to numerous debates about the fundamental nature of reality. One of the most famous experiments that demonstrated non-locality was the Bell test, which showed that certain correlations between entangled particles violate classical statistical predictions. Today, non-locality is an active area of research, and scientists are working hard to try to understand how it works and what its limits are. Quantum entanglement is not just a strange and abstract concept, it also has practical applications, particularly in the field of quantum computing. Entanglement is used to create quantum bits, or qubits, which can store and process information in a fundamentally different way than classical bits. Qubits can be entangled with each other to transfer information instantaneously, and this property is key to many of the advancements that quantum computing has delivered. For example, entanglement is used extensively in quantum cryptography to create unbreakable encryption codes. However, entangled qubits are incredibly fragile and susceptible to interference, which is one of the many challenges associated with designing and building quantum computers. Nevertheless, 
scientists are optimistic about the potential of entanglement and other quantum phenomena to revolutionize our computing capabilities in the future. The discovery of wave-particle duality is often credited to scientist Thomas Young, who conducted his famous double-slit experiment in 1803. Young noticed that when light passed through two parallel slits, it produced an interference pattern on a screen behind it. This suggested that light was behaving as a wave. However, when he repeated the experiment with a detector that could detect individual photons, the pattern disappeared, indicating that the photons were behaving as particles. This groundbreaking experiment paved the way for future scientists to investigate the nature of matter and energy. Wave-particle duality is the idea that everything in the universe, including particles, can behave like waves and particles. In other words, a particle can be thought of as a wave that has a probability of being in a certain location. This idea is based on the observation that when we measure a particle's position, it behaves like a particle. However, when we measure its momentum, it behaves like a wave. It seems that the act of observing a particle affects its behavior. The more precisely we try to measure a particle's position, the less certain we become about its momentum. Similarly, the more precisely we try to measure its momentum, the less certain we become about its position. This principle is known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The implications of wave-particle duality are truly mind-boggling. It means that the observer has a fundamental effect on the behavior of particles. In fact, some theorists propose that particles don't even have a definite location or momentum until they are observed. This idea has been reinforced through experiments such as the delayed choice experiment. In this experiment, the observer's decision about whether or not to observe a particle affected whether the particle behaved like a wave or a particle. This opens up a series of philosophical and metaphysical questions about the nature of reality, the role of the observer, and the limits of scientific inquiry. Black holes are formed from the remnants of dead stars. When a star dies, a black hole can form if its core is massive enough. The gravitational force becomes so strong that it causes the star to collapse in on itself, making it smaller and denser, and it continues collapsing until all its mass is compressed into a single point called a singularity. This singularity is so small and dense that it has a gravitational pull so intense that not even light can escape it. Black holes have a simple but powerful anatomy. At the center of a black hole is a singularity, which is essentially a point of infinite density and infinite gravity. Surrounding the singularity is an event horizon, which is like the point of no return. Beyond the event horizon, the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape its grasp. This includes light, which is why black holes appear black. The event horizon is also surrounded by an accretion disk, which consists of the debris from nearby stars that's getting dragged into the black hole by its gravity. Black holes exhibit some very interesting and bizarre behavior. For example, time near a black hole appears to slow down due to the immense gravitational force. Additionally, black holes can warp and bend space-time, causing light to curve around them in what is known as gravitational lensing. Moreover, black holes can merge with each other, creating even stronger black holes. In some cases, this can be accompanied by gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time. Time travel has been a mainstay of science fiction for decades, but is it actually possible? According to the laws of physics, it may be. One theoretical possibility involves the use of wormholes, which are folds in space and time that could allow for travel through time. Another possibility is the use of cosmic strings which are theoretical one-dimensional lines of energy that could theoretically cause time travel. David Deutsch, a physicist who developed the concept of a parallel universe, suggests that traveling between parallel universes could also provide a way to travel through time. However, all of these possibilities rely on theoretical physics and have yet to be proven scientifically. If time travel were possible, it could have profound effects on the universe as we know it. One possibility is called the grandfather paradox. If you travel back in time and kill your grandfather before he has children, you would never have been born, which means you never could have traveled back in time to kill him. This paradox suggests that time travel might not be possible, or that it would create alternate timelines. If you were to make a small change in the past, 
this could result in a cascade of changes and even alter the course of history. Additionally, the discovery of time travel could also have unforeseen implications, such as creating a butterfly effect where small changes could have massive consequences. If time travel were possible, there would be many ethical considerations to explore. For example, if you were to go back in time and prevent a tragedy such as a terrorist attack or a natural disaster, what would happen to the people who died in the original timeline? Would they be erased or would they continue to exist in an alternate timeline? Additionally, the temptation to change events for personal gain or to rewrite history could be too great for some people to resist. This could lead to unintended consequences and could create a world that is vastly different from the one we know today. Finally, the idea of time travel raises questions about free will. If we could go back and change our choices, to what extent are we truly in control of our own destinies? And that's it for today. We've tried to make some sense of the biggest mysteries of physics, and while there are still many questions left unanswered, we hope we've given you a glimpse of the amazing complexity and beauty of our universe. Remember, science is an ongoing process, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the world we live in. So keep learning, keep exploring, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one to solve the next mystery of physics. Until next time, this is Brainwaves, signing off.